Welcome back to this new pixel ray tutorial. Today we want to create a quick cyberpunk city. We will use some assets from Kit Bash Cargo. We will add some fog and some lights. Let's jump right in. Here we are in a fresh blender scene and today we want to use cargo again. So let's switch right over to cargo. Let's go to models free. We want to use two buildings here today. Let's go here with uh, the business block. Let's press download and after that import. And we want to use the second one, which is the city hall. Download and import this one as well. Now you should have uh, two buildings in your blender scene. We have the city hall and the other buildings here. Keep in mind that everything should be here on the zero the zero place here x y and z on zero okay now we want to select the upper one and all children by pressing shift press m new collection building underscore a and now the second one select everything Shh, press m press m building b now we want to create an instance of every building make a right click an instance to scene by building B the same. And now we want to put those instances into a new collection. Let's select everything underscore city buildings. And that's because we want to use this collection now into geometry nodes. So let's hide this one. And we want to select here our cube, add a new geometry node modifier on this. So let's go to geometry node editor and select new one. Uh, GN city and maybe let's rename this cube as well GN city let's zoom a little bit in and now we want to use here our city buildings collection and we need an instance uh, on points and we need a grid and let's put the mesh into the points, the collection info into the instance, and the instance into the geometry. Now we can see that we are having here our buildings, but you can see that's a little bit jittering. And that's because uh, every building or each building is on one point. To change this, we have to select your separate children and pick instance. That's looking better. And now we can go ahead and change the grid settings. Let's go ahead here with 288 by 300 and change the vertices to 10 by 10. That looks a little bit boring. To change this, we have to search for a random value. Let's put this one here into the instance index. And I want to change now the min to 3.1 and the max to 2.8. And I want to play with the seat. Let's change this to 71 but as always you can change these settings and yeah now let's bring in the camera to our final position so i want to select this one press zero on the numpad okay let's uh, change this one to 61.2 by 56 by 45 Let's rotate this to 180 by 0 by 98. Yeah, because we want to use here today uh, the panoramic view, um, we have to change now to cycles. So let's bring in here a new window and change the render engine to cycles, GPU compute. Let's press Z and rendered. And now I want to go here into the camera settings, change the type to panoramic and lens to 15 and let's bring in the viewport display passport to one yeah now let's make this a little bit more interesting and to do this i want to duplicate the whole geometry uh, node city here and to do this i want to uh, duplicate here the geometry node city we can just press shift and d but i like to work more with instances so let's put this one here into a new collection gn underscore city and i want to make an instance of this one here now right click instance to scene let's bring this one in the z value to 132 and rotate this in the y to 180 and 19 
90 in the Z. As we can see, something of the city is not showing up. That's a setting here in the camera. So let's go back into the camera and change the uh, clip end to 2000. And now everything shows up. Yeah, and to make this a little bit more cyberpunkish, we have to change something here in the buildings. So let's uh, bring back here our building A. And we want to go here now into the uh, B main. Go into the textures here and we want to search here for the banner A. Um, and we can change this here now to shade editor. And I want to select only here the principal BSDF, put this on the side. And I want to increase here now the emission strength to 10. And we want to bring, give this a little bit color here. I want to use a blue greenish color. And this looks a little bit more like yeah, some neon cyberpunk. To see a little bit more details here, we can go here now into the render settings. And I want to change here the viewport noise threshold to 0.01. So for me, <laughs> the uh, light tree is a little bit yeah, slow or the lights are not looking good for me. So I want to turn this one off. You can play with this um, if you like this or not. And now it's time to bring in here some fog. So let's create a new cube mesh cube here and i want to change this one here in the x y and the dimensions to 500 so we're having here a big cube which surrounds our whole city let's create a new material for this one let's delete the principal bsdf by pressing x and let's press shift and a search for a volumetric scatter bring this one into the volume yeah and let's turn down the color now to something grayish here in between i want to change the density to 0.1 and the anisotropy to 0.55 and to have a little bit more surrounding here i want to use an hdri let's use here the easy hdri plugin i put a link into the description and i want to use the shanghai bond i will put a link for this one in the description as well so first we have to create a world node and select now the shanghai bond and i want to go here now into the world settings of the shading and now we can change here the rotation to something in the z like 148 and we can see that this down part is a little bit brighter here i want to change this a little bit down to 0.5 here in the ad and now we can go ahead and turn on some lights to create a little bit more depth so i want to select here now our light we want to change this color to something bluish as well so let's go with this hex code i want to increase the power to 100 000, so we need two more zeros and we want to change this one to an area light change the shape to square and increase the size to 50 we can see that's your back back here so we have to place this now to the right spot so let's go to item select our light and we want to go with minus 54.6 by 76 by 103 and let's change all the rotation down to zero and now we can see that we are having here this bright spot here in the back so we can see that the city is much bigger now let's uh, bring this down here and i want to duplicate this one again press shift and d and i want to increase um, the power to 1 million so we need another uh, zero and we want to increase the square shape now to 100 and change this now to a new position which is minus 60 by 33 by 20 and let's rotate this now to 100 and 80 degrees so now we are having here some bright spots down in the middle and i think now it's time to bring in here a character so let's go here now to the asset browser I want to bring in here now our rust and let's put him here now to the right position i want to go now with 57 by 53.5 by 44.6 and 0 0 
and 122. Okay, and for the last part, I want to bring in here some contrast. So let's go to color management and change the look to a high contrast or something which you like. That was this tutorial and if you like my stuff, check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me, check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.